make wolves howl and it penetrate the breasts of ever angry bears. It was a curse to lay upon the damned, which Sycorax could not again undo. It was mine art when I arrived and heard thee that may gape the pine and let thee out. I dare to see now. Get thou more murmurous! I will rend an oak and bed thee in his knotty entrails till thou hast howled away twelve winters. Pardon, master. I will be correspondent to command and do my spirit in Jenny Grace. Do so. And after two days, I will discharge thee. Go make thyself like a nymph of the sea. Be subject to no sight but mine and thine. Go take this shape and hither come in. Go, hands with diligence. my sheets he's done my office. I know not, if it be true. But I will do as if for surety. He holds me well, the better shall my purpose work on him. As in a time with attack, would cry to a sailor, go hang. And she loved not the savor of tar nor pitch, but a tailor might scratch her where she did itch. <laughs> Cassio's a proper man. Now to get his place, to plume up my will in double knavery powers. After some time, to abuse a fellow's ear that he is too familiar with his wife. He had a purpose and a smooth disposed to be suspected, a frame to make women false. The moor is of a free and open nature that thinks men honest, that but seem to be so, and will as tenderly be led by the nose as asses are. And to see boys and let her go hang. <laughs> I have it. He is engendered. Hell and night must bring this monstrous birth to the world's light. Yes. To see boys and let her go hang. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona where we lay our scene, from ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth, the fatal lines of these two foes. A pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, whose misinvention pity is overthrows. <laughs> 